federal government has uncovered rampant crime and corruption in the nation's ports involving customs and quarantine officials, waterfront workers and organised criminals. Tough new reforms to stamp it out include a ban on any waterfront worker suspected of illegal activity, a proposal challenged today by the union movement. Philippa MacDonald reports. The government says its intelligence paints a damning picture of the extent of organised crime on Australia's waterfront. It's found serious organised crime on the waterfront, but also into the private sector supply chain. There are instances where people in trusted positions have been approached by organised crime and tried to be compromised. Task Force Polaris has seized 12 tonnes of illicit substances on the waterfront since July 2010 but the drugs and guns are still reaching our shores. The deeper part of this is also changing the culture of what happens inside the stevedoring companies and inside these private sector organisations, this, this uh, look the other way approach. As part of new reforms, it will be mandatory to report suspicious behaviour on the nation's wharves. And suspicion alone will be grounds to strip a worker of security clearance to work on the waterfront. It is something that will allow us to remove people from that environment quickly um, rather than waiting two years for perhaps a court trial to actually be completed if we see that necessary. An attack on civil rights according to unions and the ports. Lives are shattered and destroyed. We're not going to be a part of any Mickey Mouse approach to law enforcement in this country. Certainly that's an issue uh, that, um, that we're concerned about and, and should be concerned about. In the past two years, Joint Task Force investigators have arrested 16 people and laid 77 charges as part of a crackdown on organised crime on the waterfront. Yet only one of those people arrested was a waterfront worker. The opposition says the government has been dragging its feet on tough reforms. That guns, that drugs are coming into the country and that some urgent action is needed. The task force's activities are set to be extended to Western Australian ports, Brisbane and Melbourne. Philippa MacDonald, Late Line.